Hello everybody, Dane here. It is currently about 20 past 9 on Sunday the 6th of November 2022. I'm currently reading Host by Peter James. I'm a pretty decent dent into it. It's a long old book with small, small print. Um, it's about like the quest for immortality, uh, like cryogenic freezing and then creating a computer program that can run a human brain. Somebody's had their, somebody died earlier and they got frozen and then the, the, the um, courts wanted to do an autopsy so they took the head away and just gave them the body and then somebody threw the head and it exploded because it was frozen in liquid nitrogen so that was a fun little scene oh I'm also I'm currently watching uh, Empire of the Sun which is like a 1987 movie based on the JG Ballard novel so far I'm not gonna lie I'm enjoying the movie more than the novel but it's still just kind of okay but I'm, I'm watching a bit of that so that's where I'm at Dane reads Hello everybody, it is Monday the 7th of November at about 10 past 10 p.m. I'm still reading Prey, although I am now about 100 pages from the end, and I'm, by Prey I mean Host. I've just been copying over my files to, to edit my review of Prey, that's why, that's a Michael Crichton book. Um, yeah, I will be doing a little bit more filming, a little bit more editing this evening, um, cracking on with some work as well, so that's all going well. Uh, I have got all my Christmas shopping done as well in fact I've got like cards here let me show you where's where's Biggie's one I've just been writing Biggie's card his Christmas card it says Biggie claws on it um, the reason I've been buying all my Christmas presents now trying to get everything bought in November because I currently have some money and I don't know if I'll have money in December but also I have a big back tax bill in January so I want to order everything as early as I can so then I don't have to worry about it all the expenses are covered kind of thing and I could just focus on saving up for this tax bill so that's what I'm currently doing. That's also why I'm doing a lot of overtime at the moment, just working pretty constantly. Part of the reason for that is, so I heard from Shay today, she's back from Bristol, and her aunt who she lives with has tested positive for COVID. So they're both kind of like self-isolating, so I probably won't see her for a couple of weeks now, which is a bummer. Um, I will probably go around and drop off like a little care package at the door though. And um, yeah, I write her little letters and send her those in the post, and I've just finished writing one of those as well, so I'll post that off soon. Um, and yeah, I guess if I'm not seeing her, I have no social plans. My band's playing a gig next weekend. That's my next plan. Um, yeah, so I'll just do a lot of work and save some money. You know how it is. Hello, it is um, 20 to 7 on the morning of Thursday the 10th of November. My sleep's a bit weird. Um, I've been having kind of like a lot of anxiety around sleep lately, so that's not good. Um, I had a few hours earlier and slept a lot yesterday. My sleeping pattern is strange as well. Um, I don't know, it's, as, I, as I say, it's first thing in the morning at the moment. I have some stuff, like admin stuff I kind of need to do in town, uh, which I can't do until half nine, so I'm probably going to stay awake until then, if I can. Um, we'll see. And then I can go and get that done, and then maybe nap after that, because my cleaner's coming this evening at about four-ish, I think. Um, I also have some stuff I want to do out in the garden, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that because it's almost sunrise, so I can do that nice and early, get that all finished, get all that ticked off, and then on my to-do list is good. My to-do list is looking pretty good in general, to be honest. Um, so I've been doing some more work on Grebo's, my novel that I'm writing. I've been editing Boys in Blue, which is the next Lightfall book. Um, I'm up to date with all of my filming and stuff, and my work is doing okay as well. Now, part of that is because I've just not been out for like 10 days. Um, and my other half, uh, her, she lives with her aunt and her aunt has got COVID so she's kind of self-isolating at the moment just to be careful but my mum uh, is a nurse so we asked her for advice and she says we should be okay to see each other this weekend if she's still testing uh, negative which she is at the moment so that's good. Um, I finished reading The Host by Peter James, it was like 3.5 out of 5, it was okay. I, I will be doing a full review soon so keep your eyes peeled for that but yeah it was a long old book quite small print but it was enjoyable I'm glad I read it and I'm now reading Ghost Written by David Mitchell which is a mind fuck it's one of those books where I actually don't really know what's happening um, it was, you're kind of putting bits of it together as we go along you know so I, th I think it's definitely the kind of book that would hold up well for a reread if I were to, ever to do that um, but we will see I also watched earlier I watched the movie of Firestarter the 2022 version um, which is based on a Stephen King novel so that was pretty good I enjoyed that I watched Hocus Pocus 2 which was all right and now I've just been watching House of the Dragon so I'm about halfway through episode two and what's cool about that is because I've been learning uh, High Valyrian on Duolingo so I can understand a lot of what's being said without needing the subtitles for the translation so that's pretty cool and yeah just cracking on with being productive and stuff I am tired though maybe I will sleep I don't know 
Um, I made cake and bread and stuff the other day as well. Yeah. Hello, just a very quick vlog update from me. It is currently 10 past 11 in the evening of uh, Thursday the 10th of November. Yeah. I'm very tired, I didn't sleep very well last night. I did have a nap earlier in the daytime to be fair, but um, yeah, my sleep is okay. Uh, I went to see Shay this morning because we were both up early, which is unusual for us. So I took her some flowers and a Starbucks, um, just to make sure she's okay. Biggie's down there, by the way, he says hello. Um, hopefully seeing her tomorrow because we are going to the open mic at Wickham Art Centre. And then Saturday my friend's band is playing in the evening, so I'll probably go to that as well. Um, yeah, and then other than that, we're probably going to just hang out and play some Wii and stuff. I had McLean around earlier, so she did that, so that was good. Um, and other than that, I've just been being productive and carrying on with working and I'm very tired. I think I said that. Um, I've also been reading some more of Ghost Written by David Mitchell. I'm now about halfway through. It's like 3.5 out of 5 so far, but we'll see whether it, you know, might get better, might get worse. Who knows? Oh, and I've been watching a bit of House of the Dragon. Um, so I've watched the first three episodes now. And it's kind of cool because every time they speak in High Valyrian, I can kind of understand bits of it because I've been doing High Valyrian on Duolingo. So I'm like by no means fluent, but I get like, uh, someone said Gevi, which means beautiful. Um, and then like we get Issa, which is yes. And then Dao, which is no, but it's also used for negation. So you would say like, uh, so you could say something like Vala Karini Dao Issa, uh, which means the men are not happy. Except I might have butchered my uh, grammar there because it's very confusing. Yeah, Nuha Brosi Denisa! Daenerys Jerialan. I think that means my name is Dane. I love Daenerys. Yeah. I don't really. I don't, I don't like the Targaryens much. I don't know why I'm learning High Valyrian, to be honest. Yo, it's me. Um, I am feeling kind of shitty today, not gonna lie, but uh, hey ho, it is. 20 past 4 on Friday the 11th of November. Art Centre open might later, so I might go to that. Shay wants to go. Um, I'm not really in the mood, but I might go just to show my face. I haven't been out to an event for a while, so. But then if I go, I have to play some songs, and I'm not really in the mood to do that either, but it is what it is. I'm not drinking anyway, so I'll probably just go and play Wordscapes on my phone for a while, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then my friend's band is playing tomorrow night, so I might go and see that. But I'm feeling super rough. I had a really bad night's sleep with loads of like bad anxiety and um, like night terrors, sleep paralysis, all of that stuff. It just was grim. And so today I feel like shit. But I don't know. Maybe I'll feel better if I go out. I don't know. Maybe I'll feel better once I finish drinking my energy drink. Greetings, it's ya boy. It is currently about 20 to 6 on Wednesday the 16th of November. I guess I'm just going to continue this and make this a good old two-weeker. Um, yeah, Shay was around a little bit earlier over the weekend and earlier this week. I had a lot of calls. I think I had three yesterday. I've got two today. I've got another one coming up at 7pm. Um, I'm very tired. No, it was three on Monday. What day is today? It is, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, well, yesterday I slept lots. I was supposed to have a couple of radio show, show calls, but they didn't go ahead because I wasn't feeling so good. Um, but I have actually been editing some radio shows. I think I'm at the point now where the art show is all scheduled up until pretty much the end of December, so, and I have more episodes to edit. It's, it's crazy times, man, crazy times. Um, but yes, that's all good. Filming and editing all going pretty good. I've just got a few bits to film for my review of Ghost Written by David Mitchell, like the last few tabs to film of that. Um, I finished reading Ghost Written. That was probably a 3.5 out of 5. It was good. It was interesting. It was also batshit crazy. One of those books where you finish reading it and you're like, what just happened? And you kind of have to, you know, put it all together. Uh, I read Le Chai Les Pigeon by Agatha Christie. So that is uh, The Cat Amongst the Pigeons by Agatha Christie. I uh, read that in French. 3.5 out of 5. I've only read it once in English and it was a while ago. Um, I did remember bits of it. I didn't remember enough for it to be spoiled. And probably just about remembered enough for my kind of comprehension for me to understand what the hell was going on. Um, so that was cool. Uh, I'm just reading at the moment Between Hell and Reason by Albert Camus. So these are essays that he wrote for a resistance newspaper at the end of the Second World War. Um, the first one of them actually was published in the first edition of it that went out kind of in mainstream uh, circulation after Paris was liberated. 
and it keeps going until about 1947. Some really interesting stuff. It's kind of of historical significance anyway because of the liberation stuff. But it's also interesting because you can track like how Camus thought process has changed and like he starts out by being pro death penalty and then changes to be against it and to be more of a pacifist. So yeah, really interesting stuff. I'm very near the end of that now. Um, and then I might read, I've got an Angry Birds joke book that I can just whiz through that I got from a charity shop. And then I might read Web by John Wyndham, followed by um, this book, which I also got from the charity shop, which is Poems of Paris. So I'm excited to get to that. But yes, at the moment I'm just being productive. Oh, and I've been watching House of the Dragon. I'm up to season one, episode eight now. So two and a half episodes to go. Um, and it's, it's pretty good so far. So yes. Yo, okay, update. So now I am feeling extreme FOMO because somebody who I know has posted on Facebook asking if anybody wants two free tickets to see the Mountain Goats tonight. And they're one of my favorite bands. I have actually seen them live before, they're great. Um, but yeah, it's too short notice. I have a call in half an hour that I need to do and I can't really reschedule it. It takes an hour and a half to get to the venue. So even if I left right now, I would be late. But also I'm just kicking myself because I don't know. FOMO, you know, the FOMO is real, but I am doing the mature and responsible thing and not going even though I may regret it It's one of those annoying situations where it's like I can't win now like either way. I'm gonna be annoyed So I wish they just hadn't mentioned anything. Oh well Hello everybody. It is currently about 10 p.m. on Thursday the 17th of November Um my sleep yesterday was terrible. I had a lot of anxiety and stuff, so that wasn't great. Um, but yeah, I've been being productive today. I had a client call at 7 p.m. And then tomorrow is when we our boot camp starts. So I'm, I think from 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. UK time tomorrow, I'm working at this boot camp, online boot camp. Then Saturday, my band has a gig and we're on at about eight or something. And then I'm heading back home and then rejoining the boot camp, which is then gonna go on until 3.30 a.m. So um, yeah, I'm probably pretty much gonna play at this gig tomorrow and then head straight off and, and leave the others uh, to it so that I can join the boot camp because then I get paid $50 an hour for being there. So that's nice. But yes, that's where I'm at. I'm currently reading Web by John Wyndham. It is not very good. It's about cannibals and stuff. It's just, uh, feels more like I keep saying, it's saying in my re like reviews, I'm gonna be saying like, in my review and stuff, I'm gonna just, well, I'm not even gonna do a full review, but I'll, but I'll do my um, website review and whatnot. But it just feels like a writing exercise rather than a full novel. It's definitely not his best. It was also published after his death. So I think maybe there was a reason why it wasn't published when he was alive. But uh, at least I'll have ticked it off. And I have some more John Wyndham coming up that I hope will be better. Uh, it was the Christmas light switch on in town earlier, but I didn't go to it because I was asleep. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm seeing Shay this weekend. I guess we'll see. Uh, she's working a couple of shifts at the art centre. They are having their... Um, Christmas arts and craft market, so I might try and go down to that on Saturday if I'm awake, but we will see. Oh, and I still have uh, the final episode of House of the Dragon to watch, but I'm currently watching Time Team on YouTube because I'm rock and roll, mate. Hello, everybody. It is me. Um, it is currently 25 past three on Friday, the 18th of November. I am off to meet Shay at Weatherspoons about half five um, to have some uh, sort of an early dinner together. And then I will be coming back here because it is the boot camp tonight for my clients. So that runs from, I think, 9 p.m. till 5.30 a.m. So I'm gonna attend that and be very tired. And then I will get some sleep. And then when I wake back up, I'm going straight, pretty much straight to the venue, which is a live music venue here in High Wycombe at the Student Union. Cause my band is playing there at 7 p.m. I'm gonna play my set and then pretty much head straight back home so that I can attend the boot camp um, because I'm getting paid hourly to attend it. So why wouldn't I do that? I'm still reading Web by John Wyndham. Um, it's okay, there are now spiders and stuff, but I mean, I don't have much to say about it. I've almost finished it, so I'm glad about that. And then I'm gonna move on to Poems of Paris. Um, and that's all, that's all I got for you. It's a short update today. Greetings and yo, hello everybody. It is t uh, quarter past 11 in the evening of Sunday the 20th of November, 2022. I'm very tired, so it's been a busy weekend. I was doing an online boot camp for one of my clients from 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. on Friday. 
and then about 9 p.m. till about 4 a.m. on Saturday. I also played a gig with my band on Saturday night, which was fun. Um, I literally stayed for long enough to play and then came home. I got quite anxious as well. Uh, I'm not really sure why, just sometimes my anxiety plays up. I think it was all the stress I was under, you know. Um, Shay came over to stay last night just to kind of keep me company and make sure I was okay. Uh, then she worked at the art centre today. She was working there yesterday as well because it was the Christmas Arts and Crafts Fair. So she worked at that. Um, I went along today and picked up a few bits, which was nice. Like I got um, got this for my mum. So it's uh, a hot chocolate cone. Like it's like a reindeer look. Hot chocolate with marshmallows and stuff. Um, so I got that. I got some of these like little wax melts. So very, ah oh, yeah. So very nice. Um, Oh, and I won a game called Cat Bingo in the raffle, so that's very exciting as well. Uh, pretty much went to bed when I got back from that because my sleep's all over the place because I work in this boot camp. I'm also coming down with a bit of a cold, so you can kind of hear it in my voice. It's, I've got a sore throat and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm now just cracking on with some productivity. I'm reading The Trouble with Lichen by John Wyndham, which is okay. The concept's great. The actual execution, not so much. Um, the idea is that somebody discovers this lichen that can prolong human lifespans to like 200 years um, but there's only a finite supply of it and so it kind of then looks at how society reacts to it um, the only thing he hasn't really thought of is what this could potentially mean for like overpopulation but I suppose it doesn't really come into play because you can only treat like 3,000 people with it anyway um, but yes it's it's okay it's it's quite good it's like probably a weak 3.5 out of 5 and then after that, I'm probably going to read The Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. Um, yes, but in the meantime, I'm just doing some of my filmy catch-ups, watching a bit of YouTube. That's what I got for you. And that seems like a good way, a place to end this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.